Okay, so here's the problem. We essentially have a family that would like to be able to place in our project, our mechanical project. Currently we have the architectural project linked into the mechanical project, so we don't have real walls, we have linked walls in our project. And the current family that would like to be able to place this Louvre family is a wall-hosted family. So if I go ahead and try to create an instance of it in the project, because it's a linked project that I'm hovering over, the architectural project, it won't let me place it. Uh, it, it won't host to those linked walls. Uh, the second problem is that this particular family is a window family and I, I'll show you why that's a problem here in a moment. So basically what we're going to do in order to get this Louvre family which is a wall hosted family into our project to be able to host it you know without having to actually recreate the family, uh, recreate the geometry with another you know, uh, another family template essentially, because that'd be the only other real workaround, is to go ahead and first open the family. I'm going to edit the family here. So this will launch the family editor. And here in the family editor, again, notice that the host is a wall. Can't change that here in Revit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change in the family category and parameters. I'm going to change this to be of, uh, I'm going to make it into an error terminal. Either that or generic or maybe mechanical equipment, whatever makes sense, but I'm going to go ahead and select error terminal. And the reason is, is because windows cannot be copy monitored, and that's going to be an essential part of our little process here to go ahead and be able to use this wall hosted family in our uh, project. Because basically what we're going to do is we're going to change it from a wall hosted family to a face based or face hosted family. So I'll go ahead and do that first, change it, and then I'll save this as a different family here. And we'll call it EP Louver, because I work for Eagle Point. So there we go. Change it to that. I'll save it. And then we'll go ahead and leave this open while we go ahead and start up a new project, a new temporary project. And really, the template doesn't make too much difference. I will pick an architectural template here. And in this particular project, I'm just going to draw one wall. And then I'm going to go back to my Louvre family here. And I'm going to load that into this temporary project, currently called Project 6. Okay, so this might take just a second. And then once it's loaded, I'll go ahead and place it into the wall. Okay, let me go ahead and save this project. And I'm just going to call this temp project, as in temporary. Okay. The idea, it exists only for a specific reason, and then we're going to get rid of it. So there we go. So I close down the project there, and I'm going to go back to my mechanical model. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert, link that temporary project into this project. And I'm just going to bring in an auto center to center. You know, I can move it over to the side or whatever makes sense for me. And then the next step is to go ahead and click on the Collaborate tab and use our Copy Monitor tool to essentially bring in that error terminal. So I'll go ahead and click on the Copy and we'll hover over the error terminal in this case. Go ahead and basically copy monitor that error terminal. Again, this is why we've changed the category from uh, window to error terminal because windows cannot be uh, copy monitored. Okay, so it thinks for a little bit. And once it's done, I'll go ahead and hit finish. Now I'm going to go ahead and hover over that particular error terminal and use my Create Similar tool. And then notice that I can go ahead and fa uh, host this particular object on a face. I can place it on vertical face, place on face, place on work plane. It basically allows us to change the hosting properties for this family, even though originally it was a wall hosted family. And I can go ahead and place it in my model and, and it has, you know, the data associated with it, you know, that I need mechanically, all right? And of course, the last step is to get rid of this model right here, this temporary model. It just was there temporarily, so I'll go to the Insert tab, Manage Links, and then get rid of the temporary project. 
click OK, and of course it leaves that guy behind. I'll go ahead and delete him as well. At the end of this video here, I'll go ahead and display the steps that you would essentially follow to accomplish uh, changing a wall-hosted family to a face-hosted family for uh, project use.